opportunity first to welcome all our guests, friends, partners from different parts of the world and from different parts of our continent to Nairobi and to Kenya. I am delighted to welcome you to this very important event today and to our visitors from abroad, welcome to Nairobi, our vibrant, modern and diverse capital city that embodies the spirit of Kenya. As the governor of the city has said, this is a city that doesn't sleep and you will experience the rich hospitality and dynamic culture that Lonely Planet recognized when it named Nairobi the world's top city in its Best in Travel 2024 rankings. If you are looking for the city that Lonely Planet said is the best top city in the year 2024, I want to inform you that you are in Nairobi. And that is where it is. Kenya, as we all know and has been said ably, is the cradle of humanity with a wealth of archaeological evidence identifying the East African savanna as the site where our earliest ancestors lived. Specifically, the Lake Turkana Basin in northern Kenya is where some of the earliest human remains were discovered. We proudly embrace this heritage welcoming you back to humanity's first home. As the Turkana people would say, Tobongu Lore, it also means welcome home, Karibu Nyumbani. It is with great pride that I welcome all of you on behalf of the people of Kenya, and I want to urge you to explore, connect, and celebrate. Today marks the official opening of this year's edition of the Magical Kenya Tourism Expo, a critical event, especially as it takes place against the backdrop of a resurgent tourism sector. The name Magical Kenya reflects our status as a premier global tourism destination, and the Expo serves as a top platform for stakeholders to showcase our country's unique offerings to the whole world. Tourism is fundamental to Kenya's economy, contributing significantly to employment, foreign exchange, infrastructure development, and hospitality growth. By the end of 2023, Kenya welcomed over 2 million visitors, generating Kenya shillings 350 billion in revenue, a clear indicator of our global appeal. On target is to attract 5 million visitors annually by 2027. Achieving this requires concerted efforts from all players in the sector to position Kenya as a must-visit destination. That 5 million is attainable. I'm informed by the Ministry of Tourism, and Rebecca has given me her undertaking, that by the end of this year, we will have received the highest tourists in Kenya's history at 2.5 million tourists. <laughs> Rebecca, I will be waiting and counting. And by 2027, as I have said, we want to have 5 million tourists. And that is the reason why we need to expand our airport. We need to expand our facilities. We need to expand hospitality facilities across Kenya because we have the best premier, project, uh, premier destination in the world. Platforms like Magical Kenya Travel Expo are crucial, therefore, in realizing this vision. For 14 years, the Expo has provided a, re a reliable platform for B2B meetings, connecting African tourism leaders with global buyers and offering local exhibitors cost-effective promotion and networking opportunities, therefore enabling Kenyan business, even at the counties, to partner with important actors in the international market. And I'm happy that we, in our presence we have 
leaders of counties, governors. We have different stakeholders from different counties, and we are um, privileged to host mayors from other cities in our continent as we project Africa, Kenya in the middle of it, as a destination for visiting by tourists globally. For its part, the government is supporting the sector to achieve its full potential by implementing a number of key interventions. In infrastructure development, we are investing heavily in upgrading transport networks in key tourism areas such as the coast, Masai Mara, and northern Kenya. The recent opening of the Dongo Kundu Road has enhanced coastal tourism by easing travel and road expansion projects are ongoing to connect Mombasa, Diani, Malindi, and other coastal cities. In the hospitality sector, we have streamlined business operations to attract investments, offering incentives and enabling environment to support private investment in diverse accommodations, from luxury resorts to eco-friendly lodges and budget hotels. The recent launch of JW Marriott Hotel in Nairobi highlights Kenya's potential to attract top hospitality brands, creating new job opportunities for Kenyans and creating a better environment and better facilities for our visitors. Our comprehensive development strategy for the tourism industry also caters for cultural diversification and cultural preservation. Our incredible diversity with over 40 distinct cultures offers visitors the chance to immerse themselves in our rich cultural heritage. Cultural tourism not only boosts economic growth, but also serves as a medium to preserve heritage and strengthen global ties. From vibrant pastoralist traditions to ancient coastal cultures, our cultural diversity enhances Kenya's global appeal. This is closely intertwined with Kenya's unique identity as the home of human origins, and therefore the first home of humanity. To actualize this identity, we have implemented a visa-free policy, making it easy for us to welcome people from every part of the world, both tourists and business travelers, to visit Kenya, and for all our visitors to come home without any difficulty. You all agree that it, not, it will not be fair to ask anybody going home for a visa. Because if you are coming to Kenya and you are coming home, it's only fair that you come home without any hindrances or requirements of travel documents. <laughs> to actualize, in this respect, I am pleased to announce yet another milestone of introduction of digital nomad work permit, specifically designed to welcome global digital professionals, allowing them to live and work in Kenya while enjoying the country's natural beauty and high quality lifestyle. Kenya can be your home where you and your family can experience the wonders of magical Kenya every day, all while serving clients from anywhere in the world on your digital platform. And it is the reason why we are expanding our fiber optic footprint across Kenya so that from any part of Kenya you can work because you will be connected. Additionally, we are introducing a transit and long connection travelers electronic travel authorization. Again, another milestone which enables transit visitors to step out of the airport and explore the beauty of their home away from home. It will now be possible for travelers who have 12 hours, instead of spending it at the airport, they can step out, they can come and enjoy a meal in the city, they can go to the national park, they can see our wildlife, they can visit the National Museum and be able to travel back. And that visa arrangement is being rolled out to make sure that we have additional numbers of people visiting our country. Travelers at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport with time between connections, therefore, will now be able to immerse themselves in magical Kenya instead of waiting 
at terminals. As you go about your various engagements in this expo, I would like to share a few, a few highlights from my personal Kenya bucket list experiences that I believe will give you a window into the essence of magical Kenya. Number one, explore the Lake Turkana Basin, the site of some of the earliest human remains set against the backdrop of majestic Jet Sea, earning Kenya its reputation as the home of human origins. Discover the secrets behind Kenya's dominance in long distance running by experiencing the legendary atmosphere of Iten. If you are lucky, you may even run alongside champions like Eliud Kipchoge, Faith Kibiegon, and many of the people you see running in the Olympics and winning. And you will understand why Kenya is known as the home of great marathoners. Visit Nairobi National Park because Nairobi is the only city with a game park within its limits and close canopy forest nearby, offering world-class urban and wildlife experience. By the way, Nairobi National Park is just three minutes from here, for those of you who may want to sample it this afternoon. You could also choose to scale Mount Kenya, Africa's second highest peak or trek, the Trans Rift Trail in Kerio Valley. From the pristine white sands of our coastline to the dramatic escarp escarpments of the Rift Valley, Kenya is a land of scenic wonders, truly the home of breathtaking landscapes and thrilling adventures. Explore the rich culture that fuses along Kenya's coastline, where centuries of trade have shaped a heritage that has profoundly influenced global civilization. Embrace ecotourism by, visit, by visiting community-run conservancies where wildlife conservation is intertwined with local culture supporting sustainable tourism. Or you may choose to serve our global renowned Kenyan tea, coffee, and fresh produce directly from our agricultural heartlands while supporting local farmers and experiencing farm to table authenticity. You could also opt to experience Kenya's iconic wildlife in its renowned national parks from the spectacular great migration in the Masai Mara to the majestic elephants of the Amboseli. Take advantage of Kenya's high-speed internet mobile money systems, and innovation hubs that connect the Silicon Savannah to the global tech scene, making it ideal for travelers, digital nomads, and innovators alike. You could also choose to explore the dynamic business and leisure opportunities in cities like Nairobi, Mombasa, Kisumu, Nakuru, Eldoret, which are driving Kenya's rapid urbanization and growth. There are just a few things, and these are just some of the experiences that make Kenya truly extraordinary. I invite you to explore, connect with our people, and celebrate everything that makes Kenya a top global destination. Again, let me repeat, Tobong Lore, Karibu Nyumbani, welcome home. To Kenya, to all of you. Asante ni sana.